guys, welcome back to Truth Be Told Transformation. It's Ricky Me Ryan being away from TikTok. I am, I have called upon my spirit guides, the highest love and light, and the archangels of all directions to assist me in this reading. And I asked, I pulled some Archangel Michael cards for you guys. And we are protecting all six planets as well as the world. Anyone sending any ill will to thought or action, it will automatically bounce off of our impenetrable shield me and the viewer and go back to universal mind where we'll dissipate harmless away trying to light but this reset sacred space as of us of love so archangel michael wants you to know that your inner guidance is real and trust trustworthy and you have eternal love coming in some of you just need to be in existing an old relationship that rekindles as persons had time to heal and you've done some healing work others of you just may be a new person and you need to keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Speaking positive affirmations, speaking into your now reality, doing your healing work on yourself, okay? So let's see what this is about. Obviously love, but we're going to tap in, okay? I'm guided towards this deck today. This is the Gilded Tarot by Circo Machete. I hope I probably butchered his name. I hope I said it correctly. Spirit, please reverse any cards that need to be in the reverse. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands. So there's a decision that needs to be made and strong Leo energy here with strength. Okay. Yeah, you have a wish fulfillment when it comes to love, if this resonates with you and you're watching this. Okay. Your inner guidance is really trustworthy. So, there's a victory here, but it's at all costs. Is it really a victory at this point? You feel laid down. Or someone feels this way down. It's really down. This could be the person that you're dealing with as well. There is a there's a lack mentality here and it's keeping you from manifesting the love that you deserve and you have to love yourself first in order it, it will really help this true love to come in listen to your intuition as archangel michael said earlier your inner guidance is for trustworthy five five is significant this could be may 5th somebody could be 55 years old you've ended a cycle here some of you are probably going to be, you're, this is a soul contract here for eternal love, okay? Yeah, with a, soul, a soulmate, some of you could be twin flame, Taurus energy on my board as well, could be Capricorn energy. This person could have had addictions in the past and they've shed them, or it could have been a codependent situation and someone's went with them to heal. I feel like this is coming rather quickly. Some of you, this person may have had problems perceiving love. You're going to get your justice in this situation. There's a king of cups that did flip out in the reverse. So I feel like in the past you went, you were in relationships with a specific person and or people that were not for your highest good, that were not emotionally mature. I feel like, so the person coming in is emotionally mature though, but this person from the past, they're heavily on their mind, the believer energy. Yeah, you have a brand new beginning though. Cancer Pisces Scorpio on the board. Yes. A very uh, this new love is going to be very passionate real and trustworthy i feel like this person's healed some addictions as well as you and this is your wish fulfillment you've been through a lot of healing you've been manifesting this and it's about to arrive i'm feeling about may honestly around may between now and may have an outcome yeah aries leo sag energy this person could be a leader or be in a leadership position or will take the lead or you're going to take the lead with uh in this love i feel like um there may have been a tower in the past that pulled you guys apart they could have children they don't have to they could have been acting very maturely in the past they could have been cheating energy as well for the past person and you had a choice to make so you i feel like you're going to take a leap of faith i feel like this person's been watching you and they're coming in to make an offer. 
Did this person follow this offer? You're in a mental imprisonment. I feel like somebody may from the past may be wanting to come in. I feel like you're going to have, we've been going through the test of the past to the present to the new, right? I feel like somebody is not for your highest good from the past, but there is somebody for you guys, for some of you possibly. But a lot of you guys, I feel like this is a new person. This person from the past definitely juggled you. So if somebody wants to come in and bring balance, your guidance here is to be strong. I feel, I'm feeling a message, even though you know you love this person, they may not be for your highest good. Because you have an emperor coming in, or an empress, um, who is very grounded, very stable, okay? And it's like the um, feminine manifests, our feminine energy manifests, and the, ma the masculine creates the manifestation or follows through with it you're gonna maybe moving to a new home you're gonna build this relationship on a solid foundation with the two of cups yeah the choice is yours um i feel like this person from the past is definitely sneaking in there is a warning here even though so again choice between the past and the present you have children with this person you don't have to it's definitely a soulmate energy you're gonna gain some clarity and truth about this person this pain this person of why they caused you this pain it was definitely there was a lot of arguments queen of cups energy yeah you're emotionally mature and stable and you've been manifesting and watering this manifestation for quite some time and i feel like doing the healing work here you're being guided to stand up and protect yourself know that you are protected but stand your ground because i feel like they're coming in to try to disrupt with a shadow energy and the ego to try to, to, to keep you from meeting your divine partner. You're gonna get a message, judgment's been called. You've worked very hard, this person could have used you for money. You went within and done the healing work and it was a lot of hard work and you have a celebration coming because of this. I feel like you've got, you're elevating to a new level. Um, but yeah, and these, it's like a, uh, these people are coming in one last time to try to deter you off your path, okay? But this eternal love is coming in. Yeah, and you're gonna, this, you and this person's gonna build like um, generational wealth, okay? You're breaking, some of you I feel are breaking ancestral and generational patterns, aka curses, okay? I feel like this is gonna be a very abundant and stable home. You need to balance your energy and stay out of your head. If you're having nightmares, you can go into meditation and ask for this person's true character to be revealed. Pay attention to what you see, hear, feel, or just know, okay? Um, this person could come cloaked as a person of a light or as a new person. I do feel fake profiles and things of that nature. I do feel, unfortunately, spell work, negative spell work. Yeah, and it's hidden. They don't, they want you to fill in your money. I feel like they're coming in to try to take some money from you or to get you to do it. They just don't want you to succeed on this mission, okay? And meet this true to my partner. There's a lot of jealousy around this energy here. Um, we're gonna just, at the end, we'll do the signs and see, um, yes or no, okay? Definitely feel this is a past life thing for some of you guys. Um, Yeah, at a crossroads because you're healing. It's like, I know I still love this person. I care for this person. Remember the red flags is what I'm hearing here. Are you aware of people trying to use you? Yes, well, I'm saying surrender so you can have this eternal love. Letting go, you're releasing this person. Um, music has been sending you signs or they've been sending you signs through music. Let me tap in here. Tell me about the eternal love that's coming in. Holy divine angels. Listen to your intuition. Gut feeling. Okay. You're going to have like a premonition or sixth sense about this new relationship that's coming in. New commitment here. Yeah, crossroads. Am I ready to, you know, am I going to choose the past or are you going to choose? Because you have a faded meeting here. Somebody's crossing your path and it's just faded by the divine. For this relationship, I feel like this person is either they're going to help with their spiritual awakening. This is going to be unexpected. Some of you could be moving to a new home when you meet this new soulmate, you meet them in this new area. 
yeah, and this is going to create a massive change for you. They could be already watching you and have a crush on you, especially if you're on social media and have an account. Yeah, take the chance. They're going to take a chance. And release, don't, release this toxic past, okay? Yeah, that, somebody that took... You're gonna feel like some of you are feel like you don't want to date or not ready to move on, but I feel like you really should. It doesn't hurt to like just go out and have fun, right? Um, I was gonna give you some advice from my other love deck, but my kiddo has it. <laughs> um, we'll tap in here to the twin flame cards just to see what we get. I know we've been pulling this energy for quite some time, and we've been getting a lot of a lot of tests from the past not just during mercury retrograde but like all is being revealed is what i just heard the truth is being will be revealed ask some of you have asked for the truth to be revealed just ask for the their true intentions to be revealed to you ask your spirit team if you um for and ask for specific signs that they're good for me show me this and then next three days if they're bad for me show me this in the next three days and your spirit team will deliver that for you okay. show me the twin flame energy here for this eternal love for the, the feminine might be feminine inside you have reunion 10 10 10 reconciling differences somebody wants to come in and reconcile differences your masculine is nine nine open your heart but set loving boundaries so if you decide to give this person from the past a chance again make sure you set boundaries if they're not okay with your boundaries they're not for you and four four trust ask listen and allow so they're wanting you your spirit team is wanting to speak with you and ask you for signs here yes yeah, surrender one one dark night of the soul this person put you in a dark night of the soul yeah, but you also need to take acknowledgement for what they taught you what was your part in this you know you might be getting mystical messages. You need to follow the signs. What is um, the viewer's partner's feminine? Uh, you know, feminine, divine feminine. Where are they at? Wait, this one was flipped over. Remember your identity and you can do it. That's a general message here. Let's get in and, and, Jeez, sorry about that. Okay, inner feminine, inner masculine here. Master alchemist, so you're, does, um, as they are learning, you're learning. Yeah, you know, as we heal, they heal, okay? As well as the collective heals. You're getting a violet flame activation as a master alchemist here. And with this eternal love, you're going to discover sacred sexuality. Um, and you're, it's going to help you access the unified field. Tell me how they can get to union, please. Enter the vortex 1010, aligning with infinite abundance. So this is an abundant period for you. 11, 11, mission accomplished. Welcome home. So this is when you unite your inner feminine and inner masculine. And you come in with this. You then meet this, the one. Okay. If they are here in this lifetime, not all of them are. You're going through a reprogramming of your soul. Releasing the past. Raising your vibration and reclaiming your truth of who you are. Yep, you're king, you're divine masculine, or you could be this king and your divine your divine partner's coming in. Now remember, their, their gender doesn't matter because we all have, or whatever they identify as, okay? Because it doesn't matter that we all have the aspect within us, maternal, paternal, right? Yeah, you're going feminine twin, and you're activating your higher self where the feminine twin is, and you're going through, the feminine twin is going through a rebirth right now. For the feminine, divine feminine, their personal, our personal, um, Freedom is being unleashed. We're finding our stepping into our power. And the dark ones, the past, does not want us to step into this power. They do not want femininity and power. So they're sending an old people to try to stop this. Now, I'm not saying every per old person is bad for you, okay? Please don't don't put words into my mouth. But, or don't misunderstand or misconstrue what I'm saying. I'm just saying um, some of you may need to go through purge these karmics, okay? mirror because they're mirroring your reflection so if the karmics are still showing up i feel like they're showing up as a last effort right i feel like you've actually healed a lot of this and and if not you need to check in with your body and with your team like what 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 still needs healed what feelings are coming up you know how do you feel where do you feel out in your body things like that there you they're masculine twin releasing lower self okay you also have your divine your merkaba vehicle is being activated this is a chariot and Terra ground shield and protect which ground shield and protect you in all time space dimensions realities and spaces in between 
high priestess defending their consciousness okay now we're gonna go through each sign okay and i'll tell you based on the energy of the cards i get yes or no you pick one or two okay so basically what i'm what i'm saying is, is if you pick number one or number two for each sign if you know i'm gonna tell you yes or no okay dealing with or meeting my ear is ringing really really loudly so make sure you center yourself take a deep breath i want you to get number one or two for aquarius number one is i need they need more time the number is four you're protected number seven they dream about you a lot too much if you're number two number one for leo you need to be more selfish um because i feel like this Leo is much about themselves. Love yourself more. Option number two for Leo. Card number two for Leo is I'm afraid to talk to you. Card number one for Capricorn. Number four, if I asked you to stay, would you leave? Card number two for dealing with Capricorn. I am coming. Trust. So we have a new beginning. Somebody is coming for someone here. If you pick that. Very, they have Capricorn highly aspected in their chart. Taurus, option one is I'm afraid to talk. The number is seven. So pay attention to these numbers. You might want to look them up, okay? Or you might see them in your reality if you pick this. Uh, it says you matter for number option two for Taurus. Card number one for Aries is love. They want you to love them. It says love me. Number two, gossip only hurts more. So there could be an Aries gossiping. Or you could be this Aries, so there's gossip going on about you. Okay. Card number one for Libra. Possibly, you're getting your justice here. This Libra energy. Um, or you could be dealing with a Libra. And yes, it's an Ace of Cups. A new beginning. And they meant what they said for option number two. Card number one for Pisces, dealing with a Pisces, or if you are a Pisces, I am obsessed with your body. Number two, I want you to choose. I still don't have all the answers. You got two of them. Scorpio, card one, zero. They are ready. They're ready to take a leap of faith. Card two is seek professional advice. Dealing with a Scorpio option number two, seek professional advice. Um, they may need a therapist or you could, or could it be causing you, um, this could be someone from the past, if that's, you know, what you're thinking about, um, coming back in and maybe they gain stock you or something. Gemini, option one and two. Number one is uh, number six. I know you from somewhere. That's card number one. So you, somebody may bump into you and this is the divine meaning. Now, I know you from somewhere, okay, and you're going to get the truth from a Gemini if you pick card number two, Cancer. Card one is, I think we should see other people. The number is three, so they have a third party. Two. Card number two is, I just want you all the time, and the number is eight. Sagittarius, card number one. You could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with a Sagittarius. I imagine you naked. Card number two. I have so much desire for you. The number is one. Dealing with a Virgo, where you are a Virgo, card number one is I am in so much pain. Card number two is the number nine. Give me time. I've never felt this way before. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys. If you like me doing it this way, please comment below. Let me know. It does actually help the video get out to those who need to see it. Let me tell you what numbers I'm seeing repeated a lot here. The number eight. Do you see eight? 88, 515, or 555. Somebody could be 38, 61, may have a child that's 15, could be 21, 27. Of course, you can reverse these. 77, seven, 111. You definitely have some new beginnings. 11, 11, the twin flame number. 47, 48. You can also reverse these numbers as well. 36, 63, 55, 52, 50. Um, 
Alright, I want to do something I haven't done in a while. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull some letters. I'm going to put my stuff in my own little packing. <laughs> Alright. Some letters. We're gonna do. I don't know. Ten letters. Could be. So if it smells any more, I'm just gonna do a handful. The letter D, I, Diana, D, your name, Sid. Somebody is dissing you. Secretly dissing you from the past. Isis. Some of you may work with Isis. Two did they did diss you somebody from your past you need to know that the name Todd T something about somebody's toes yes Babs Bob Becky Ben Ban somebody wants you banned I feel like this is a past person. The name Kit, Libby, or Lib. You're gonna be liberated from someone from the past. South Carolina could be, because I see SC. Someone attempted to put a hex on you, because I'm seeing hex, but feel that it was uh, returned as in there. Yeah, somebody, unfortunately, I'm seeing kill and die. Like somebody from the past wanted you deleted, okay? Um, I feel like this is a narcissistic person. BTS could be significant, like the band song, I don't know. B, this band. Lit. I feel like somebody suffers majorly for some toxic addictions and instead of healing them or getting help, they refuse to. Or they might for a little bit and they go right back to it. So just be aware if this resonates with that part resonates with you, okay? Dot. Dot. Kits. I'm going to give you the letters now. RC could be significant as well. So you can make your own I D I S T O D E Y E E K I T S L V B A N R C X H T. Thank you guys. I know I've been posting as much on here. Um, make sure to follow me on on TikTok under Ricky Wright. I do have enough to go live, and when I get situated, what well, to where I'm able to, um, going through, like I said, I can shift, um, I will definitely be going live for you guys, with you guys, okay, and I will be doing the bracelet giveaways on there, and, um, you'll have to be present in the live to win, and of course I'm going to do it here too, whenever I'm able to do my first live on here, but maybe it'll be subscriber only, okay? I'll get you a soul truth message, talk to the animals, get you an affirmation. Yeah, a new opening's coming for you, I told you. What's the most important message for spirit, for this beautiful collective? You have inner beauty, so some of you, you need to repeat positive affirmations, speak to yourself looking in the mirror. It does work, you guys, if you believe it. You can manifest like reverse aging, you can manifest a lot of things. I feel like somebody wants your inner beauty to fade. Uh, I don't know why anybody wants to even stoop to these levels. It's there. There's a lot of, I'm feeling a jealous energy here. I open the eyes of my heart and direct my gaze to the light within every being. Personality and physical appearances are in the image of man. Beauty and goodness are in the image of God. And I'm showing you this because it has a healing um, activation here. Today is an affirmation to use for this collective. So 
says today, I am mindful. Today, I know deep in my heart and soul that happiness and self-worth are within me. And that is true. You have to be happy with yourself. Truly love yourself. I know it sounds crazy, guys, but it's real. You can even look up the backed up research on if you don't believe me. Okay, let's get you see what spirit animal wants to come forward today. We have the ram with perseverance. I feel like there's another one that wants to talk. Hold on. Yep. There they are. The rat can. Okay, patience. They want you to have patience, persevere, hone into your magic, because you're about to invent something, okay? Or create something new. I'm gonna read these one at a time, seeing these animals in a video, on a picture online, or in the reality or confirmation it is, something in this reading list for you. If you're watching this, there's something in it for you. Ram, perseverance, you have many gifts, no problem. There's no problem that you can't, no problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach you, your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. We have the raccoon and inventor. Decide on what you really want. You have the ingen ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roads roles sorry you have many roles and can juggle them all well the heron patience create a place in nature uh, sorry create a place in nature stillness and be renewed take time alone to find balance step confidently towards your purpose patience will bring you reward so some of you I feel you're meant to stay single for a while and just soak yourself into what makes you happy, what gives you joy, your purpose, you know, sharing your light. And that is when this divine intervention, gonna, this divine meeting is going to take place, okay? And this is what this card looks like. Notice there are two heroines here. It actually looks like um, it could be a big one and a baby or it could be a couple. I feel like it's a couple. Then we have the dragonfly. Magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. So, Spirit is wanting you to let go of the past, okay? The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. And notice here how I'm having like a brain fart right now, sorry. On the lily pad, I can't think of the name. I, the lotus flower? Yes, the lotus flower. Thank you, thank you, Divine. Um, the lotus flower, it grows in the mud. And, but yeah, even through the mud and the nastiness, it rises up a beautiful flower. And that is you. You're about to rise up from the ashes. Like, your whole life's about to transform and change. I'm, I'm serious. And I know that you deserve this. And I believe in you. And you can do it. You can do it. You can do it all night long. Little ching chong -chin there for you. All right, let's give you a soul truth message. I will be coming back with Pisces reading. I don't know if I'll do it today for 2023 year reading or if I'll do it tomorrow. Um, but I'm definitely going to get that out for you guys. Get the other signs out too. How does my body want to move today? When we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you pa passionate about it? it is, is it time to try something new? Today's soul action. How does your body want to move today? Listen and joyfully do. Some of you may be walking, stretching, qigong, um, dancing to your favorite song, okay? Rocking. Um, you can release a lot of trauma about those parts in your body that are sore by rocking and stretching. Um, I just heard yoga, tai chi, okay? So I hope you guys have a, oh, so I'm going to give you one spiritual activator card here, uh, super attractor card. This one fell out. I am kind and loving towards others while creating clear boundaries that protect me, uh, that protect my good feeling emotions. I'm going to read it again. I am kind and loving towards others while creating clear boundaries. So you need to work on boundaries or some of you have been working on them that protect my good feeling emotions. You can use that. It's a super attractor. 
affirmation. All right. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for your patience. If you're on TikTok, find me there. Again, Reiki Me Right. You can check out my shorts. There's a little, uh, it'll show you the name usually if I already hit it. So I love you guys so, so much. Comment below. Let's get your energy in future readings. I will try to at least do, I repost the 10 minute readings here. I would try to, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try to do is at least do, um, if you guys would like some one minute readings, let me know. Do some shorts or something every day. Um, I do put my other things in the shorts. Um, so anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Until we meet again.